Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me again. This is uh, video number seven in our AutoCAD Getting Started series. And what I like to do with this uh, video is kind of show you the, the last few modifications we need to make to our title block in order to give us an opportunity to get started with modeling. And one thing I like to do is kind of get rid of this white space back here. We have a lot of white space on the bottom, a lot of white space on top, and we're going to make a modification to our title block a little bit and stretch it a little bit in order to uh, kind of take up that white space so that the title block kind of fills like a picture frame, but no more than the picture frame. It kind of fills up uh, like a picture frame around our uh, model or a drafting that we're going to be doing a model space. So the way we do that is you click on it and uh, go to uh, on your insert tab on your ribbon go to the block editor button just like we did before and we're going to make changes to it and of course it's selected we want to go to OK once we're here so let's do this let's go ahead and stretch it we've been to uh, the copy command the move command and the scale command this one is called stretch so we're going to stretch this we're going to stretch it up by about a half an inch and the way you do that is you do a pick box window it tells you just like the objects. There's a couple different ways to kind of watch this. If you look at the cursor, there is a kind of a, a tag there that tells you what you need to do. It's also the very same tag that you see down here in your command line. What you want to do is do a pick box window from the lower right to the upper left, and it selects everything within that, but it doesn't select anything that's uh, below that it hasn't been selected. So a pick box window, uh, and this is going to be a test question by the way, a pick, spot, a pick box window uh, from the right to the left will select everything that crosses that window and is inside that window. So do remember that because a complement of that going from the left to the right is everything and only the things that are inside that window will get selected. So just for the just for the sake of demonstration if I were to go in the opposite direction and do that very same rectangle only those top lines get selected. If I go off in this direction everything that crosses that and is inside that window gets selected. And you notice they're different colors too. We do a pick box from the right to the left, it's a green box, green rectangle, left to the right is a blue rectangle. A lot of stuff, overshare, too much information, let's just move on. We're going to stretch this up by half an inch. And the way you enter the second half of a command is test question, by the way. You either press enter, spacebar, or right click on the mouse. Specify a base point. What I like to do is specify a base point out in space, somewhere out here or in the middle. And go up, uh, establish a direction, and type in 0.5. We're going to do the same thing under the bottom. Spacebar repeats the previous command. Test question, potential test question. Press the spacebar, repeats the previous command, and that's good for Revit and uh, uh, CAD too, by the way. Spacebar again, to enter that command, establish a direction, type in 0.5 and it goes down a half an inch. And that should be good. Close the block editor like we've done before. Save it. Now that fits the paper just a little bit better than it did before. Not perfect. And depending on your printer needs that you have there in the CAD lab, if it's uh, not printing out the title block, then you might want to change that and modify this a little bit in the same manner in order to make that uh, a little bit more readable. Let's do one more thing before we leave here. Let's go to the options menu by right clicking, scroll down to options or you can go to the application menu and go to options we want to change the colors of our paper space. I'm going to make that uh, white on black just so we can see it better. Go to the display tab go down to colors we're in sheet layout which is our paper space and instead of color white we want color black. Apply and close and there's other ones here you can do too. You want to make sure your TD model space is black you have it as a dark gray, but that's okay. We'll keep it at that. Uh, and your black editor should be black too. So as long as all three of those are black or very dark gray, you're probably okay. Go to apply and close. Go to okay. Now that looks a very similar to our uh, model space that we're going to be drawing in next time. There you have it. Have fun. We'll talk to you soon.